The earth is a geoid and is flattened at the poles. Its circumference is about 40,000 kilometers. Its diameter is 12,756 kilometers across the equator. The globe is shown to rotate on a line passing through its center. This line is known as its axis. The 0 degree and 180 degree longitude together make a full circle and divide the earth vertically into two equal halves known as in this chapter we will study the following concepts tilted axis lines of latitudes and longitudes heat zones longitude and time globe latitudes and longitudes the earth is a geoid and is flattened at the poles its circumference is about 40000 kilometers its diameter is 12,756 kilometers across the equator. It is difficult to grasp the size of the Earth to explain its many features or locate places on it without some model or aid. A globe is a model representing the Earth. Tilted axis The globe rests on its frame. This position is known as slanting, not perpendicular. This is exactly how Earth is positioned in space. It is tilted at an angle of 23.5 degree with the perpendicular to the plane of the Earth's orbit. In other words, it makes an angle of 66.5 degree with the orbital plane. The globe is shown to rotate on a line passing through its center. This line is known as its axis. Thus, a line around which a heavenly body is thought to rotate is known as its axis. The globe also shows how this axis passes through the North Pole and the South Pole. The globe shows accurate shapes and sizes of continents, oceans, distances, directions and various other features of the earth. For example, you will notice that South America is smaller than Africa. This information that you get from the globe is correct with respect to the actual position on the earth. Lines of latitude and longitude. Grids are horizontal lines known as latitudes and the vertical lines are called the longitudes. These lines make the globe an interesting diagram and help us locate places on Earth. The straight line passing through the center of the circle measures zero degree across. Latitudes These lines are drawn horizontally on the globe and are parallel to each other. They are also known as parallels of latitude. The axis passes through North Pole and South Pole. The part of the globe that lies to the north of the equator is called the Northern Hemisphere and the part to the south of the equator is known as the Southern Hemisphere. Lines drawn at a distance of 1 degree north or south of equator go on increasing in value and reducing in length till they converge at a point. This is how North Pole and South Pole measure 90 degrees each. 40 degree north latitude would mean that the place is in the northern hemisphere, the length of the parallels goes on decreasing towards the poles. The 60 degree parallel is half the length of the equator. The equator is the diameter of the earth. In the case of the earth, its exact length is 12,756 kilometers. The poles are just points and measure 90 degree north, north pole, and 90 degrees south, south pole. Magnetic and geographical poles do not coincide. Important parallels. When you observe a globe on its axis in front of a lighted candle, you will see that places near the equator always remain towards the sun, the candle. These places receive maximum sunshine. To differentiate between these places, some important parallels as specified below have been drawn. Tropic of Cancer 23.5 degree north or 23 degree 30 north of the equator. Tropic of Capricorn 23 degree 30 south of equator. 
the Arctic Circle, 66 degree 30 north, the Antarctic Circle, 66 degree 30 south.